Hi everyone, and welcome to Freeman's Heinemann. My name is Raphael Chatrou, I'm the head of American Art here. And today I'm taking you on a small tour of a rather large exhibition, that of the collection of Sidney Rothberg, which is coming up for sale in Philadelphia on February the 27th and the 28th. We're here in the main room of our show, which starts with this rather impressive wall that shows some of the best highlights and most coveted gems of the Sidney Rothberg collection. Uh, we're starting here on the left with this beautiful and quite rare Nabi work by Edouard Villa, followed by a very intimate scene by Boudin. The real star of the show is, of course, this beautiful portrait of Pierre Goujon, um, the only remaining portrait in private hands of one of the four Goujon children, given that all the other ones are in major uh, institutions around the world. This boy is quite well surrounded today because on his right, you have a still life by Soutine, and on his left, you have a beautiful, hazy vista by Corot. My absolute favorites are those two works by Odilon Redon, um, starting with this rather late mythological rendition of Oedipus in the Garden of Illusions. Look at those amazing colorations and the detail that is quite present here. You also have a soft and beautiful pastel still life that, it rep that is represented here. It depicts some irises. And this is from an earlier period of his work. The collection of Sidney Rothberg is quite expensive. You have many works on view here, some 242. But it's also quite telling because he was collecting artists that were not necessarily popular or hot at the time. And that is the case of some of the artists that I'm about to show you. Since those he bought in the 70s and 80s when pretty much no one else was interested in them. And it's quite telling if not moving, to see them having their moment at last. So for examples, you have several uh, artists that are a part of the modern British movement. Chris Ophelia here um, with this beautiful portrait. And Ben Nicholson, Lucian Freud, no other than Lucian Freud. But the two gems I want you to spend time looking at today are this rather unusual work by Mahali Naj, since it was made on plexiglass. And by the way it is propped, you see how the shadows are really an intricate part of the composition, if not the most interesting one. But of course, the true highlight of this wall is this silver drawing on black paper by Lee Bontecou, one of the most sought after works in the sale. And it is quite interesting because it depicts what we believe are flowers arranged in a very particular way on this black paper. But really it is up to interpretation and that's exactly what Sidney Rothberg wanted you to think and experience because as you can see, and as you can tell by the title given to the sale, it's open to our interpretation. Tell us what do you see, because that's what he liked to ask you, and that's what he liked to make you think. It's all about deciding what you believe is there. And here behind me is a rather beautiful and colorful portrait of Mrs. Jacques Heim, the wife of a very famous fashion designer in Paris in the early 20s. It is done by Robert Delaunay. And it's quite striking, a very important work, which Delaunay worked on several times through various studies. And here, what's quite interesting is that she's wearing a stash, which seems to be inspired by no one than Sonia Delaunay, the wife of the artist. So it's quite telling. It makes it quite full circle. And we're here in the second part of our exhibition of the collection of Sidney Rothberg, which really as you can tell around me, shows the size of the collection as Mr. Rothberg liked to collect everything and anything morning through night. And this is quite revealed here as everything speaks together, is in constant dialogue with one another. That's quite important as one of the main influences of Mr. Rothberg and what channeled really his collecting philosophy was the Barnes Foundation here in Philadelphia. He liked to make sure that artists were next to each other because they were friends or because they were influenced with one another. He liked to play with sizes of the works, media of the works, and that is what is represented here. You have sculptures, as you can see here by this Archipenko, um, beautiful terracotta. You have drawings, you have oils, and from all periods and uh, centuries. What is particularly interesting is that you discover a bit of Mr. Rothberg's personality as you come through the space. And that's really what we try to channel through three colored walls in this exhibition. The main one is this beautiful yellow wall. 
in homage to the Barnes Foundation, as most of the walls there are indeed yellow. And here we selected some of the artists that are represented in the Barnes Foundation and which Mr. Rothberg's liked and loved uh, quite particularly. So you have Glackens, you have Pasquin, you have Prendergast, John Kane, Georges Seurat, as well as Jean Hugo, one of the artists that Mr. Rothberg collected the earliest and the most. It's also one of the artists that he introduced to his daughter and granddaughter because it's the first one that they ever bid on with him by, them side, by their side. Another trait that I want to show you uh, of Mr. Rothberg's personality is this colored wall where we're headed here that reveals his side as a passionate, not only collector, but man. Mr. Rothberg was someone who had a, an appreciation for life. And another aspect of Mr. Rothberg's personality that we tried to show is how passionate he was, not only as a collector, but as a man. And as his daughter, Saren, puts it, he lived life to the fullest and enjoyed every bit of it. It comes through this beautiful and um, quite pleasurable still life by Jean Hugo, as Mr. Rothberg had an incredibly legendary sweet tooth and could not only start, but had to finish all of his meals with dessert. That was quite important. But you can also see the range of his passions from his love of theater with here work by James Enzor, or the fact that he was a devoted father here represented by um, this beautiful study of the Castera family portrait by Maurice Denis, or the fact that he loved, you know, the simple pleasures of life here quite explicitly represented through Wesselman and Warhol, um, two artists that Mr. Rothberg really enjoyed. Another aspect of uh, Mr. Rothberg's personality and collecting method that we try to show is how inclusive he was and this is what you see essentially through this somehow smaller not as tall wall that we have called as you can see for yourself the kids corner simply because in mr rothberg's apartment all the paintings were hanging from floor to ceiling and were made available specifically for children to see and appreciate art one of those children of course was mr rothberg's daughter saren who could really spend time with art as a toddler when she could see art hung at her level. Of course, here the works are somehow um, at a higher level to make sure that the viewing experience remains enjoyable for everyone. But trust me when I tell you that originally in Mr. Rothberg's apartment, most of the art was hanging at that level so that again, everyone, including the youngest and the smallest of children could enjoy and communicate with art. So hopefully, Many children come through this exhibition space and get to appreciate some of the whimsical, maybe more childlike works that are also on offer here, from Enzor theatrical sets to tangly class albums or mandalas. There's one element that we really wanted to insist on in this exhibition space, and it was to make it highly interactive. So aside from the many QR codes that you're invited to scan in this space, at Freeman's Heinemann, we also invite you to write on the walls, whether outside the room or inside the room for thought, where you'll discover an array of beautiful works that spirit and channel the powers of the mind. And since the title of the sale is What Do You See? We, no kidding, invite you to tell us what you see in some of the works that you see here on view. And you can write it right here on the walls. So come find us in Philadelphia and don't forget to tell us what do you see.